As I record this video, England are in the semi-finals of Euro 2024. They're about to go and play the Netherlands. And by the time this video comes out, you guys will know if England have made the final or if they are out. Nevertheless, though, regardless of that result, England have been rubbish. They've been rubbish. So in today's video, I want to explore what might have happened if Gareth Southgate wasn't the England manager. I have simmed the Euro 2024 tournament eight times with different managers in charge. Pep Guardiola all the way to, to Sam Allardyce. And we're going to find out, could things have been better or... Is Gareth the best man for the job? And is football coming home? Disclaimer, by the way, I know that's really annoying for you guys who aren't English, Scottish fans, other nations. I'm going to give you the opportunity in today's video to call England rubbish in as many different ways as you possibly could want in the comment section below. The most creative one, I'll pin it as a comment at the top of the comment section. So there's that. Let's get into the video and start with, who should we start with? Let's go with Eddie Howe, if he was England manager. Here he is then. Eddie Howe is the England manager. And just to explain how this video is going to work, I'm going to go and simulate the the Euros. From this point on here, you'll notice that I am not, I've not, I'm not managing England. I've put Eddie Howe, moved him there using the editor. So he will be completely in charge with what system is going to be played. But the squad is the squad that Gareth Southgate took to the Euros IRL this summer. So I went through and did the squad and then I moved Eddie Howe in. He's got a couple of warm-up games that have been put in against Slovakia and Portugal. Then it is into the real-life Euro Serbia, Denmark, Slovenia. We are going to go to the end of Eddie Howe's tournament, find out how he's done, and then we'll go through some of the other candidates that I've put forward too. And when I was thinking about which candidates to go for, I went with the, the highest odds for who might take over from Gareth Southgate, who is odds on to leave the job after this tournament. Although maybe that will change if they go and win things. And I've also chosen a few of my own fun candidates to see how they would do too. For example, Pep Guardiola, which we'll get to a little bit later on in the video. Shall we go and find out how Eddie Howe, with his 4-4-2 system, it appears. Let's find out how he is done in the Euros. Sharon Bowen up front with Harry Kane. That's fun. See you at the end. And here we are at the end of the Euros. And Eddie Howe, what a start to these simulations then. Eddie Howe has made it to the final of the Euros, where they have played Portugal and lost on penalties. That is an outrageous way to begin. There is the team that Eddie Howe has picked. He's gone for Trent playing as the number six with Rice and Bellingham in front of them. That's quite fun. Kane, Saka, Foden. Fairly similar. He's gone for Gay and Stones as well, actually. Shaw's got back from his injury. Walker. Ramsdale as first choice keeper. And he's not had a good game here. He's got a 5.6. They've lost two. Ronaldo's Portugal, Ronaldo actually, I say Ronaldo's, he didn't get picked by uh, Martinez with Ronaldo. Was he on the bench? Yeah, he was on the bench. Didn't use him. They went with they went with Bruno Fernandes as a false nine type striker here. They've won on penalties. Trent missed. John Stones missed. Anthony Gordon did score his, but it's what, 5-3 on penalties and Portugal have won. Let's have a look at the rest of the run for Eddie Howe's team then. Not a bad start, you know, for, for Eddie perhaps putting himself in line to be a good candidate to take the job. Who do you want to see, actually? In the comments down below, who do you want to see as the next England manager, if you could choose? Do you want to go... I mean, Graham Potter, is he an option? I think he's maybe the one that I would think probably is most likely. I'm not quite sure. A lot of people saying people like Mourinho, and I just... Uh, please, no. I mean, we've seen defensive football with Gareth, right? It would be quite fun, but... Would it be fun? That's a question. Let me know in the comments what you think, anyway. Here's the run to the final. They beat France 4-3. What a game that is in the semi-finals. 4-3 with, I was going to say a late winner. It kind of was. Ivan Tony got a 78th minute winner. Kobe Mainu got himself sent off on just about the hour mark after Foden gave us a lead and Kunku equalised. Rice then Stones. Mainu sent off. Mbappe Giroud making it 3-3. Four, four, uh, three, three, sorry. Ivan Tony with a late winner to see us through to the final. Mainyan didn't play well. Did he go with Ramsdale? Look, Ramsdale's dropping stinker after stinker and yet he still managed to start the final here. Outrageous. The team, I think, is the same, though, right? What was the rest of the run? They beat Croatia 3-1. They beat Czechia 2-0 in the second round, the first knockout round. They beat Slovenia. They beat Denmark 4-0. They actually won all of their group games. So much better than Gareth Southgate. I'm going to give Eddie Howe a very strong 9 out of 10. The only way he would win this is if he won that, won that game against Portugal, right? 9 out of 10 Eddie Howe, you're right to the top of an imaginary leaderboard that I've thought of. Let's have a look at our next manager. 
That next manager I've chosen is Emma Hayes. I wanted to throw Emma in there because I think it's a really interesting conversation. She's done amazing things in the women's game and the women's game coming to FM25. Will we see more female managers making their way into the men's game? I kind of hope so. I, I, of all the managers, you kind of look towards Emma Hayes being the one that you could maybe see making that jump. Although there are some amazing managers like Serena, for example, and Bon Pastor's done amazing things with Leon, who's now the Chelsea manager, I do believe. I wanted to give Emma a go and see how she would do in the Euros in FM24. And this is what she's achieved. She, she did not make the final. Portugal have won it again, actually. That's two from two for Portugal to win here. They beat Croatia in the final. We have to go back to the semis where Georgia made the semi-finals and then lost to Croatia. That side of the draw must have been a bit, bit mad here. It was Portugal beat Italy in the semis. Quarters. Okay, well, this isn't doing amazing things for the women's game, Emma. I'm going to say it because Scotland have got further in the Euros than England have here. Georgia have beaten them, which is also quite funny in itself. Portugal beat Poland, Italy beat Germany, Croatia beat France. This is a wild Euros. There's England. Okay, they lost to Germany. It's a little bit more respectable losing to Germany. Can I click on this game and see it? It was a winner from Florian Wirtz with the goal there, which I guess, I don't know why I've clicked on Florian Wirtz there. We know how good he is, don't we? A 28th minute uh, winner. Let's have a look at the system that Emma used then with England. It was a 4-2-3-1. Two defensive midfielders in Rice. John Stones in the midfield is quite quite funky. Joe Gomez starting at centre-back as well, which is also quite fun. Uh, the front four, though, is very well, it's the same front four that Gareth Southgate's been going with in this Euros in real life. And it's fairly similar, to be honest, overall, isn't it? However, John Stones in the midfield was the only real change. Maybe a change in the approach as well. They lost to Germany. How did they do in the group stage then? They beat Serbia 2-1. They beat Dem or drew to Denmark and then lost to Slovenia. Benjamin Sesko has got himself two goals there. And it was, I mean, Group C. How did that actually finish? We need to kind of see. Group C finished. Did they top the group? They came second in the group to Denmark. Not great, Emma. I'm going to give you a... Five out of ten, you made it out of the groups. I'll go with that. Next up, I've put forward this man for the job because I feel like it was he was in the conversation around the England job at some stage. I know that he's just taken the job at Fenerbahce, but Jose Mourinho, England manager. It has a weird type of ring to it, doesn't it? Let's see how Jose, with his preferred formation of 5-3-2, might it be our first real change of shape here for this England team? Although Eddie Howe played a 4-4-2 in a friendly and then played a 4-3-3 in the real thing, didn't he? Let's see how Jose has done as England manager at Euro 2024. He has not made the final first up. It was a Denmark-France final. France are the champions in this one, so no Portugal. Let's go back to the semi-finals where, okay, didn't make the semis either. Will he be better or worse than Emma Hayes? Uh, Denmark beating the Netherlands, France beating Belgium. Quarters, also not there. Spain have been knocked out by France. Belgium knocked out Portugal. So there's our former champions from the other Sims there. Being knocked out by Belgium. Serbia beaten by the Netherlands. Second round, same as same as Emma Hayes. It, it was 3-0. Okay, Jose's lost 3-0 to France. Again, I feel like it's going to be a similar rating. It might He might just pip Emma Hayes 5 out of 10 rating if he's done better in the groups. Because he Emma didn't top the group, did she? It was a 3-0 loss. He's also got a little bit unlucky in that he, he, you've been drawn against France, which is always going to be tricky. They got dominated. Three shots on goal, two on target, 15 for France. He played his 5-1-2-2 five, 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 two, two system with Jared Bone and Harry Kane up front. Foden and Bellingham as sort of middle, like number eights together in there, which seems a bit odd, with Rice in behind. I mean, it's not dissimilar to what Gareth is kind of doing if you move these around a little bit to, to the way that we changed to that back three, back five that we've gone to in the last game against Switzerland. It's not worked out well here, though. Another stinker from Aaron Ramsdale. If we've learned anything from this video, it's that do not pick Aaron Ramsdale to play for England because if you do, it will be a, a, a stinker of a performance. How did he do then? in the the group stage that will determine his rating won't it here he beat serbia he beat denmark he beats slovenia i'm going to give him a six out of ten with his weird system he got a bit unlucky losing to france i suppose six out of ten you top the group i assume too fair enough but also not a great performance
Yeah, did I mean that's that's actually better than what Gareth did. So, 6.5 out of 10 for Jose. Next. And next I've gone for Maurizio Pochettino, another name that is definitely being linked to the real life England job. So we want to see how he goes in here. I'm actually also a little bit surprised that none of these managers have managed to win the Euros yet. If you think about how many good English players there are, we've had one final loss from Eddie Howe on those penalties, but the other managers haven't actually got that close, have they? As soon as they've come up against a big nation, most of them have lost. So will Poch do better? I'm kind of actually just checking in whether there's any spoilers on here. I don't know if there is. Will Poch have done better? Let's have a look at the European Championships here. No. No is the answer. Although Jude Bellingham was the top goal scorer with five. Harry Kane got four too. So maybe they're a little bit more free scoring. Look, the average ratings are all there. They might have had a better tournament, but they've not made the final. Portugal have won it again. That's like three out of four, isn't it? Portugal are, I mean, they, their squad is also amazing, if you actually think about it, for this Euros. It was a Portugal-Netherlands final. If we go back to the semis, were England there? I'm going to guess yes. They were. Okay. They lost to the Netherlands 3-2 under Poch. Let's have a look at this game here. It was a... Okay, England did edge it in terms of shots on goal, but only two on target. He played a 4-2-3-1. And look, guess what? Aaron Ramsdale, you're a clown. 5.9. Honestly, why do they keep picking him? And why does he keep dropping these absolute disaster classes? It's actually quite a very... It's very similar. Is this the same team, barring Ramsdale and Gomez, as Gareth Southgate's first lineup in this year's Euros? I think it is. If you put in Trippier at left back and um, Pickford in goal, I think that is how he started the Euros. Although he must be a little bit more enterprising with these goals that are being scored. How did we do in the other rounds then? We beat Italy 3-1. Well done, Poch. We beat Switzerland in the second round, 2-1. I assume in normal time and not needing penalties there. And then in the group stage, I don't know which group England were in. They were in Group C. I do know that. It's the same every single time, isn't it? They lost to Serbia 3-0. That's not a great start from Poch. They beat Denmark 3-1. They drew with Slovenia. It's really not a good group stage, is it? Group C, I assume they went through in second. Yeah, four points, negative goal difference. They did kind of make up for it in the knockout rounds there. I'm going to give you... They did, they, what did they get to? Semis? Seven? I, I'm going to get... My ratings are going to be all over the place, so you can slate me for that in the comments if you want to. Seven out of ten for Poch. Next. And next up is Potter. Graham Potter, probably, for me, the most likely manager to come in and take over from Gareth Southgate. He is preferring a 4-2-3-1 control possession in the game. Let's find out how he's managed to do by having a look at the Euros Championship. Final was Germany, Austria. Two nations that together make me think of one man and one man only. Marcel Sabitzer. Anyway, this means that England did not make the final. Germany won it on penalties against Austria. Austria doing very well to make the final. They actually were pretty good in this year's Euros anyway, weren't they? Let's see, did we make the semi-finals with Potter in charge? I'm not seeing any England players on this list here. No, we did not. Germany beat France in extra time. Oh, my word. Austria beat Spain 5-1. So, sorry, what is going on? 5-1 dominated this Spain team. I mean, I say that and then Morata's at the top, but we know how good this Spain team is in real life. Probably the favourites to go and win the Euros. Again, you'll know if they're in or out at this stage. I don't know. It's literally Tuesday evening before the Spain-Netherlands game as I record this. So I might sound silly, but this Spain team is really, really good. Let's go back to the quarters. England did make the quarters. They were really good, this Spain team. They beat England 3-0. The England team with Potter in charge looked like this. The 4-2-3-1 that we're pretty used to seeing, actually. Ramsdale, 6.3. That's good for him. In got weird how FM seems to rate Ramsdale a lot higher than, than Jordan Pickford, who has always been really good in an England shirt. You have to kind of say that, don't you? He's also gone for Trent in the midfield. He's also gone for this system, which is pretty much that starting 11 with the left back and the goalkeeper, the only two changes. Similar to the last manager that we looked at. So out in the quarterfinals, how do they do in the second round? They beat Czechia in extra time 4-3. That's very Gareth Southgate. I mean, actually, it's not Gareth Southgate because we scored four goals. But having to go to extra time, that is more like it, isn't it? There's the 11. The goals from Trent, uh, June. Harry Kane and Harry Kane in extra time to win it then. We conceded a 93rd. Oh my word, look at this. This bottle job from uh, from Graham Potter here. Schick in the 89th and Suchek in the 93rd to take it to extra time. Fair enough, Czechia. Yeah. In the group stage, how did they do? They topped the group with two wins against Slovenia and Serbia and a draw against Denmark. I'm going to give them... 
I'm going to give Graham Potter, I think. What did he get to? Quarters. I think we're going to have to give Graham Potter a 6.5. Next manager, please. All right, a big one next then. Pep Guardiola. Can you imagine if he took the England job? I mean, his time at the City, it must be coming to an end. Look how good he is as a manager. I mean, look his attributes in the game. If any manager is going to lead us to glory, surely it's Pep Guardiola. How have we done in the Euros under Pep? We have got to... Not the final. Germany-France was the final. Germany beating France. Two goals to one. Surely a semi from Pep. Surely. No. Right. France beating Denmark 5-1. Germany beat the Netherlands 3-1. We've not made the semi-finals. So we've... Pep Guardiola's done worse than Gareth Southgate. What world are we living in right now? Did he get unlucky quarterfinals? Sorry. I, I, I'm in shock. What's going on? He didn't make the quarters. Netherlands, Portugal, Germany beat Italy, Denmark beat Spain, fair enough, France went to extra time but beat Croatia, second round, sure, okay, we went, okay, he's gone out to Germany, so again, did he get a little bit unlucky, perhaps, similar to Emma Hayes and one or two other managers we've seen getting a really good team in the second, the first knockout round, he lost to Germany by two goals to one, what was the performance like, it was a non-affair, there's like no shots, Germany have won it though. Wirtz and Musiala, the two star boys of that Germany team. Harry Kane scored a goal to make it 2-1, but we didn't have enough. Ramsdale started in goal and got a 6.6, .6, a record for him, perhaps. 4-3-3, he did play Trent as, a, as the number six. Started Gomez at right back, so no Walker. Was that an, it wasn't an injury because he did play here, so he's gone for Gomez. Pep Guardiola choosing Joe Gomez over Kyle Walker. That's an interesting one, isn't it? Trent in behind Rice and Bellingham. We've seen a few times, actually, haven't we? Bowen starting on the right-hand side instead of... Well, instead of Saka? Is Saka? Was Saka... I mean, we don't know if there was injuries. Saka doesn't seem to be on the bench. So there may have been an injury there, perhaps. Either way, England lost to Germany. How do they do in the group stage? This is not a great... He didn't win every game either. He beat Slovenia and Serbia, lost to Denmark. I'm going to have to give him a 5.5. Pep, that is rubbish. And now we had Pep as manager... I wonder if you can guess who I've also simulated as England manager, who we're going to check in on next. And here he is, my goat, Jurgen Klopp. My, my absolute goat. What a man. What a beautiful, beautiful man. Jurgen Klopp as England manager. I was actually thinking about this literally today. I was thinking, is, is that something I want to get behind? I don't know if I could see Jurgen Klopp managing another team. Let, let alone, I like... But if there was another team that I'd want him to manage, perhaps it is England, right? Although when he ultimately doesn't do very well and everyone hounds him out, I just feel sad. I, I'd, I'd happily see Klopp retire, to be quite honest with you. But if he was England manager, would he be able to win the Euros and do better than Gareth Southgate? Would he do better than Pep Guardiola? I really hope he has. Yes, he has. Yeah! Yes. Oh my word, he's beaten Germany in the final as well. England are Euros champions. The first time in this video a manager has actually gone and won the Euros and he's beaten his homeland in the final. 2-0, England, it's come home and Jurgen Klopp was the man responsible. I love it. He's even played Conor Gallagher. That's the type of man that Jurgen Klopp is. What a rubbish game of football that is. Six shots from England, three on target. Seven from Germany, two on target. Harry Kane scored the opening goal. I feel like we should watch these goals now because it was the Euros final. We've beaten the old enemy in Germany. Let's watch the goals. Let's drink it in. Jurgen Klopp is better than Emma Hayes and Eddie Howe and Pochettino and Graham Potter and all of the other managers we've seen. Bowen through to Bellingham. Bellingham, with his back to goal, turns, gives it back to Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen starting is fun too. Harry Kane smashes past Ter Stegen. And then we made it safe with Bukayo Saka just after the hour mark. Anthony Gordon starts. Concer's playing. Joe Gomez, is he playing defensive mid or is he just inverting as a, as a left back here? I mean, he's very involved in the attacking play here. Saka picks it up, runs through the, the right back, which is it Kimmich? Is it's no, it's it's Mar Marius Wolf. Wolf, I want to say. Anyway, Bukayo Saka scores. Jurgen Klopp has won the Euros. How did he get to the final? He beat France in the semi-finals. What a run! What a run it actually is. He's beaten two really good teams there. Stinker from Mbappe. Ramsdale, six point seven new record. A goal goals from Foden, Kane, and then Kane again from the spot. A three-one win over France. 
quarterfinals, a 5-1 win against Switzerland. None of this penalty business. Just beat them. Smash them 5-1, please. Thank you, Jürgen. Second round, we beat Turkey 2-1. And then in the groups, did we win all three? Yes, we did. It's almost a perfect rate. It's a 10 out of 10. It is a 10 out of 10 from Jürgen Klopp. And I don't think that can be beat. 12 goals from Harry Kane. What are you cooking, Jürgen? What system did he use? Just a 4-3-3. Just a four. Harry Kane scored 12 goals at the Euros. Is that a record? It must be a record. Surely. That is outrageous. I don't think this can be beaten. My goat, Jurgen Klopp. But there is one man that I wanted to simulate too. And that man is Sam Allardyce. The big man. Big Sam. The only unbeaten manager in England history. Is this jovial personality, Big Sam? Now, has he done... What only Jurgen Klopp has been able to do in today's video. Did he win the Euros? Go on, Big Sam. No, no, France won it. Fair enough. Okay, France beat Portugal in the final. Did he make the semis? Yes. Okay, he actually did make the semis there. A 3-2 extra time defeat to France. He's done actually pretty well. Injuries in the semi. Oh my word, we've missed a penalty in there too. Kingsley Coman with the winner in extra time. Kane scored a penalty. What did he set up? Okay, I was really hoping it was going to be a 4-4-2 there. It wasn't. It was slightly interesting though. Saka on the left and Bellingham on the right. Foden through the middle. Is that the way to get the best out of Phil Foden? Perhaps. How did he do in the other rounds? He beat Italy on penalties. Nice. Second round, we beat Czechia. In the group, how did he do? Do you know what? It's actually a really solid 8 out of 10. Semi-final defeat in extra time to France. 8 out of 10, Sam Allardyce. But the goat of the, the next England manager should be should be Jurgen Klopp. And we've kind of proved that today. So Gareth, that is the level you need to aspire to reach. And hopefully England are in the final as you're watching this. Maybe they're not. But then again, I have no idea, do I? But thank you so much for watching today. Let me know who you think is going to be the next England manager in the comments. And as I said earlier, if you're not from England and you've still watched this, this video, I'm giving you all of the permission to just say England are rubbish as much as possible in different ways. Be creative in the comments down below. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.